Uh, voter turnout remains high in South Sudan's independence referendum, but as viewers Nico Coleman reports, Africa experts in the United States are worried about the country's long-term prospects for peace. Voters have been lining up at voting stations in massive numbers during the week-long referendum to decide whether South Sudan will become a new African country. One of them, Johanna Deng, is looking forward to no longer having to pledge allegiance to Sudan's government in Khartoum. Okay, but I'm saying bye-bye Khartoum. In every today, you finish. Bye-bye, bye-bye. A vote for separation is widely expected. The referendum comes as part of the internationally brokered 2005 Comprehensive Peace Agreement, or CPA, which ended two decades of fighting between the North and South. A separate referendum was supposed to take place in the oil-rich Abye border region, but it was postponed because of a number of issues, including whether the Miseria herdsmen who passed through the area to graze their cattle should be allowed to vote. As voting began in the South, Violence broke out in Abye between the pro Khartoum Miseria, local residents of other tribes, and security forces. El Sadiq Babu Nimir is a Miseria tribal leader. Our tribe does not initiate an attack, but if attacked, we have a right to defend ourselves with ten times the force used, no matter how powerful the attackers are. Abye is connected to our lifestyle, and depriving it from us would be like a death sentence. In Washington, a panel of experts expressed concern at the situation. Comfort Arrow is the Africa program director for the Brussels-based International Crisis Group. While securing the referendum has been an international priority, the long-term stability of the region lies in the ability of the North and South to forge a post-CPA post relationship. Fwadi Ikmat, a Kenya-based expert on Sudan issues, says despite the strong voter turnout in the South, there is little reason yet to be optimistic. There is serious nervousness and volatility. That is where this procedure is happening. And at the same time, there is no full agreement on any of the post-referendum issues. None. Those post-referendum issues include the exact demarcation of borders, the sharing of revenue for southern oil going through northern pipelines, as well as what to do with Abye. Results of the southern referendum are expected early next month. Nico Columbans, VOA News, Washington.